The Dallas Mavericks might not even make the play-in tournament, so today we're going to be simulating to the offseason and trading everyone to give this team a complete reset and see if a new direction is what they need, at least in the game of 2K. Y'all know 2K's realism isn't exactly the best. We're going to run Frank Nilekina and Davis Bertans in place of Kyrie Irving and Luka Doncic so that we can try to get our draft lottery odds improved. But of course, the San Antonio Spurs, they're just a little bit better at tanking than us. Ultimately, we had the 8th best odds for the number 1 pick. We ended up drafting ninth overall, which is cool, I guess. We'll need some young players if we're trying to rebuild this roster. I ultimately ended up selecting Anthony Black for our roster. Don't really know too much about him, to be honest. I don't really know college ball. I know Wenbinyama and Scoot, but like... That's pretty much the extent of my college basketball knowledge. Also, there's that one guy, Marquise Noel, who's like five foot eight and played for, I think, Kansas State. Is that right? Anyway, let's get right into the 2K cheese. Y'all know how it goes. You trade some players who really you have no business getting first round picks for. No disrespect to these guys. You drop me off 1v1. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, basically I trade these guys. I get first round picks. They're off my roster and we give this team essentially a full reset. I was trying to find trades for Luka, but nobody was really willing to offer like any players. They had everybody untouchable on their roster. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait till near the trade deadline when teams are looking to make really good additions to their roster and might be willing to give up some better players. So that's what I'm going to do. I wanted everybody to be off the team in the offseason, but ultimately we will end up trading Luka and hopefully this will allow us to get a guy who we're pretty excited to build with. I'm also going to go into free agency because I just traded pretty much everybody besides Luca, and we've got cap space to work with so I can try to sign some free agents to improve this roster and maybe we can make like a playoff run this year Luca's not going to be on the roster for that but you know if we have a good trade deadline we go out we make some nice moves maybe there's a potential for us to be like a low seeded playoff team and build something new like kind of what the Brooklyn Nets are doing right now where they traded Katie and Kyrie but as a result of those trades, they found some really great players. I mean, they were already really great players, but you know what I mean. They they had some guys who were able to, I, I guess, discover more talent as a result of, not really discover more talent, I guess showcase more talent. L vocab, L word choice, but y'all get what I'm saying. They were able to showcase their talents. Mikael Bridges really looks like baby KD out there. And I ended up deciding on the Cleveland Cavaliers around the trade deadline as the team I was going to try and work with. They were doing really well on the season, but Darius Garland was not listed as untouchable. So I wanted to try to get Darius Garland along with another one of their guys, but they really weren't budging. And I guess that makes sense because they were like 32 and 9 in 2K's logic, but like it's Luka Doncic. I'm sure right now they would trade Darius Garland and Isaac Okoro for Luka, but ultimately we just did it as a one-for-one -one swap, which is kind of unfortunate, but Darius Garland is a guy who we can look to build with. And remember, I went and stocked up on draft picks in the offseason, and that was for a reason. That rhymed. You, you see the bars? But what we're going to try to do is go out and trade for Cade Cunningham. The Pistons do not have him as untouchable, and he's a young star player. So we're going to try to go out and get him. And ultimately, after giving up Trey Jones and a bunch of firsts, yeah, Cade Cunningham is a maverick. But we're not done yet. We're going to try to make the smallest backcourt of all time with Darius Garland and Damian Lillard, two short guards who aren't exactly great defensively. But y you know what? We're, we're just going off vibes. Welcome to the team. Don't Remember, we still got Cade Cunningham as well. But Cade, he's kind of tall. He can run the three for us. Well, we'll be all right. We just got to outscore the team. You know, that was the approach that the Mavs went with essentially by trading for Kyrie. They traded away some of their best defenders to go out and get Mr. Irving. And ultimately that didn't really work out. But when you look at their approach and they were like, all right, let's just try to get more buckets than the other team. And that's what we're going to try to do with this roster and this approach. And Luka Doncic is the MVP with the Cavs. I might regret trading him to the Cavs 
vibes. Because, like, think about it. I mean, Darius Garland, he's hooping. But, like, yo, the Cavs are always ridiculous as it is. And now I gave them, oh, my gosh, I gave them Luka Doncic. They still got Evan Mobley, Jared Allen, Donovan Mitchell. I might have made a huge mistake. But, hey, we're in here as the seventh seed. And we weren't doing too well around that trade deadline time. But after we acquired some really good players, we were able to go out there and do our thing. We also had guys like Nas Reed, Obi Toppin, Isaiah Joe, Mitchell Robinson, who were like supporting cast type guys for us. So, you know, they were out there doing their thing. And even though we're a seven seed, we're kind of deceptive. That's how I'm feeling about the Lakers this year. I feel like they're a really deceptive team that could get in the playoffs as a low seed. I I think they can make a run this year. I, I don't know. Let me know what you think. If they can stay healthy, it could be crazy. It could be dangerous. I was just watching the Lakers game, though, and Anthony Davis went down. It looked bad. I was really nervous about it because I was like, man, come on, AD. You know, I always root for guys who get hurt like that. I'm not saying I root for them to get hurt. I'm saying I root for them in the event that, like, they have a lot of injuries. I just hope that they can stay healthy. You know what I'm saying? I hope my words didn't get twisted there and it made me seem like I'm just a bad guy who starts cheering when people get injured. Nah, I was I was sad. I, I was watching and I was like, come on, AD, say it ain't so. Get up, get up. And he got up. I, I was so happy, man. He got up. He kept hooping. So, you know, WAD. All right, let's go ahead and let's get into this draft, though, where we do have a good pick. We were able to draft Isaiah Collier. Uh, Collier, is that how you pronounce it? I think so. And we're also trying to go out and trade for Alper and Sangoon because if we do this trade, we can create a little bit more cap space for the offseason. And like he's Alper and Sangoon, you know, he talks to the ball when he does free throws and stuff. He could be a cool addition to our team. And now what did that one dude say on the freestyle video where he was like, boom, bam, bop, bada, bop, boom, pow. Super hot fire. I spit that two and a half men. I watched that. You guys know what I'm talking about. You remember that video? Do y'all remember like the old era of internet like okay this isn't really that old like i'm not a super old guy if people don't remember this though this is going to make me feel like an old man we also pick up larry nance jr and bogdan bogdanovich for our roster and speaking of old men bogdan does start to regress which is kind of unfortunate dame also regresses but anyways as i was saying man there were like so many like things that like now when i look at them i'm like man those just weren't funny but like as a kid i was in there ah ha ha that was a real knee slap you know what I mean? Like, there were some jokes like the free Shavakadu stuff. Like, if you know, you know, bro. Uh, on Vine and stuff. Like, oh, man. Vine was was definitely one of the eras of uh, the internet. Yo, but Vine was kind of goaded, like, at the time. Anyways, we're going to go out and trade for Keegan Murray. I could have got Laurie Markin in, but 2K has that man averaging single-digit numbers. Like, they have him putting up absolute pedestrian traffic cone-type numbers. He, he is absolutely horrible in this game, I, and I don't understand it. Like... It's like he, he's good at basketball. He gets buckets in real life, but 2K doesn't have his tendencies reflecting that. And that's something they really need to get on, to be honest, because like you're 2K, you're the basketball video game. You should at least have a somewhat accurate simulation of basketball. I understand if you know there's certain issues and stuff because you can't get everything perfect, but like we can all agree. As much fun as it can be to simulate seasons and do rebuilds, this game is far from perfect. Do y'all remember the old 2Ks, though, where, like, if you were a championship contender, guys would, like, take pay cuts to join your team and stuff like that? Like, they need to bring back some of those old features into the game now. It was so much fun. You could, like, actually negotiate with the players, and if you saved up enough VC, you could do, like, different pitches and, like, trick them into signing with your team and stuff. It was wild. If you know, you know. No. Hey, if y'all want to see, like, I, I don't know, maybe I could do this for y'all. I would be really excited if I could, and if you all, if it was something you all be interested in, I want to try to do like a 2K14 rebuild for y'all. Also, we lost in the playoffs again, which is really unfortunate, but here I am on my rant about 2K14. Anyway, we see more regression from Damian Lillard. I'm kind of regretting the Dame trade. He's making a whole lot of bread, and uh, I mean, we're winning games and stuff, but like he's starting to regress more and more. Maybe we look at finding a trade for him soon because like it's not looking good. And Trey Young is in Portland now. He's a sixth man, I guess. I don't know, man. It's 2K. And it's stuff like that. Like, how is Trey Young a sixth man? You know what I mean? Like, things like that in 2K's logic, those lapses in judgment. I mean, maybe they got somebody crazy over there in Portland, but like, I, I don't know, man. 
Let's just get straight to it. Another playoff run, likely another year of disappointment. We're the second seed, but what does that really matter? We have not seen this team do anything, make any type of noise. Maybe it's because we have too many guards. I don't really know. Keegan Murray, was he, he was in beast mode, man. Damian Lillard only, what was that, 18 points per game? Like, we need a little more from Dame, bro. And I get it, he's getting older, and we lost in the first round, bro. Like, it's not looking good. The Lakers make a finals run led by AD, but Luka and the Cavs. Why did I give the Cavs Luka Doncic, bro? Oh, my goodness. This whole video, I've just been getting cooked. We're going to go out and get Nicholas Claxton. We're trading away Bobby Portis. feel like that was a no-brainer type of trade. Nicholas Claxton can be a center who can hold it down defensively. And, Dame, it's time to go back to the grind. I'm sorry, but, yeah, well. Welcome back. We're going to go ahead and get Trey Young. He's a younger guy. I, it's in the name, you know what I mean? Ha, ha, ha. Oh, man. Anyway, Trey Young, you know, he shoots threes. He assists. I, I don't know, man. We're going to go ahead and get into another year. And Luca, almost a 40-point triple-double. Wow. Luca, you're real great at basketball, man. And Quinn Snyder, 71 wins on the season. The Atlanta Hawks, though, they are kind of a 2K cheat code. So that's probably why. But 71 wins is crazy. I'm not going to lie to you. And it's the Pistons. He's coaching the Pistons now. They've got Lonzo, Jaden Ivey, Quentin Grimes running the three. Marvin Bagley's still there. Wemben Yama. Miles, Miles Bridges, yeah, Devin Vassell, and um, I mean, that team's cool, but yo, I think it's something about Quinn Snyder, 2K's got him on some different level of coaching, he's like, uh, uh, what was that one dude's name, oh, the dude who was like the sensei in, in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, bro, uh, he's like Master Splinter of coaching, something like that, man, but yeah, the Pistons, they're in the finals, they win the championship, we, yeah, we lost in the second round, of course, of course, yeah, and you know what, guys, I'm, I'm sick of the L's, this is going to be our last year, because every single season, I'm having to like trade away guys for picks, or trying to like make our team a little bit cheaper, so that I can afford to bring players back, like, it's just getting rough, and I don't think I've ever seen a player progression screen where everybody stayed the same, that, that's kind of wild, we're just we're just mid year after year. We're like a good regular season team that doesn't make any type of noise in the playoffs. And I did have some leftover draft picks, so I'm going to try and help our depth out. I'm trying to do whatever I can to give this roster some type of improvement in what's going to be our last season of the video. I'm going out and trading for Taylor Horton Tucker, THT, former Laker legend. We're going to go ahead and add him to the roster, and hopefully those guys can help us. And now, I guess the Cavs lost Luka and added Lamelo. Like, how is this fair? And they've got KP coming off the bench, you know, you know, normal stuff. 89 overall guy getting a lot of buckets, 7 foot 3. Like, how is this fair, 2K? Y'all need to patch the Cavs. I don't know what y'all got them on. And Quinn Snyder. Y'all need to patch Quinn Snyder. He's an absolutely ridiculous coach in this game I mean I'm sure he's a great coach in real life but man 2K's got him on a different type of timing but look at the Cavs now they have Evan Mobley LaMelo KP Jared Allen Isaac Okoro they've definitely got a roster it's not as crazy as I expected but it's still definitely really good it's probably better than ours I mean 2K's just cooking us year after year maybe we can finally make a conference finals though we're up 2-1 on the war we're up 3-1 well we made it we made it this might have been our first conference finals of the video bro oh my goodness come on come on bro lock in lock in team we're better than this team like on paper I feel like so let's go ahead and let's do it game one they win okay game two game two yeah yeah all right come on come on we're down to one tie it up tie it up all right Oh, okay, 3-2, 3-2. We might need to shorten up the rotation. We got to really lock in. I mean, with our rotation, the only guy who's not on fire is Nick Claxton. It looks like we've got a real chance here. We're going to force the Game 7. And in Game 7... <laughs> like, bro. Bro, this is this video. This video, man. Oh, my goodness. We lost again. Well, L video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, though. I feel like I put together a pretty good team. I guess it just wasn't enough. Have a great day. Had a ton of fun making this video for y'all. Regardless, see y'all in the next one. Peace.